Today we're going to try HEB's latest limited edition chip, Korean Barbecue, which has potential. It really does have potential. Uh, their chips have been up and down. I think Korean Barbecue has the chance to be an up chip and be one of their better chips. Even though it doesn't really explain itself, you know, I'm not sure what exactly Korean Barbecue is supposed to mean. I'm hoping it's kind of like a steak Kind of, you know beef thing because that's what i generally associate with korean barbecue is putting those little steak pieces on the grill um watching them cook and all that but who knows it could have like a kimchi it could have some kind of like uh veggie flavors it could be a mix it doesn't really explain it it just says you know here at h-e-b we take pride blah 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 and the ingredients we got potatoes vegetable oil uh cottonseed oil blah 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 sugar salt citric acid spices canola oil paprika extract sunflower oil smoke flavor so they injected some smoke flavor, but that's really all I can tell from looking at this beautiful packaging. Whoever's doing their design over there, great job. Um, but let's see how the chip actually tastes. So this one's for everybody in Texas who's going to go to H-E-B and see this pink bag on the shelf and wonder what is that supposed to taste like? This one's for you. Uh, smells pretty good. It smells kind of... It smells strongly tomatoey, which is interesting. But I'm not sure it's going to taste that way. Anyway, that's kind of what they look like. Lightly seasoned for the most part, but adequate, I'd say. Whew. So, let's take a bite. Honestly, I think this is a miss from HEB, but just a very short miss. It's They're still okay. I was looking up the other flavors because I couldn't remember. Um, I did the loaded nacho a couple weeks ago. Those were decent. Those were um, pretty good. Not the best, but they had a pretty good nacho flavor to them. These, on the other hand, mm, Korean barbecue seems wrong because what it really tastes like, and this is going to be sad and possibly relatable to uh, many of you who grew up poor, um, what it really tastes like is like shrimp top ramen or shrimp marchan ramen seasoning packet. Um, which there's probably a chance a lot of you have never tasted a ramen seasoning packet outside of it being cooked. Um, but I used to love taking um, my ramen packets to school um, in elementary school because I was broke and we were poor. We had a lot of ramen because they were like literally, back then they were literally like 10 cents. Now they're like 35 cents, but they were 10 cents. You know, you could get 24 of them for like uh, $2. Anyways, I would bring them to school as a snack, um, just the little square package, crush them up in the bag, um, take the seasoning packet out, sprinkle it over, shake it up, and eat it like a snack, like instead of chips, which is probably really bad for you, but I digress. Anyways, if you've ever done that before, if you've ever tasted the packet specifically of shrimp ramen, because they all have different taste profiles, but the shrimp ramen one is one of my least favorites. I would only ever get it, you know, take it with me if the other ones were gone. Um, I preferred beef and chicken, or specifically roast beef and roast chicken. Those were really good. Um, and the soy sauce one, great. Um, pork, really good. Um, ramen flavors, if anybody's curious. But um, the shrimp was a kind of a last resort. And I didn't like it specifically because it not only had that, you know, seafood shrimp flavor, which is pretty light, not strong. It's very light, just like in these chips. But it had a sweetness to it that I really disliked. And that is the problem with these as well. It's, it's just odd to me that they would market at Korean barbecue. And now I'm not an expert. I, you know, I've been to a Korean barbecue place. Uh, usually, as far as I know, they give you like strips of beef, like steak and pork and like pork ribs and beef ribs and stuff like that. I don't think I've ever seen seafood at a Korean barbecue place. I could be wrong. I mean, that could be a thing, but if it is a thing, it's not a popular thing. I'm pretty sure it's beef and uh, pork and that are the number ones at Korean barbecue that you're putting on the grill because you don't really need to grill seafood so i don't know what's up with that but that's the flavor i mainly get from this korean barbecue and it's kind of nostalgic for me but i also can't really stand the sweetness of it i just i hate when they inject sweetness into things that should be inherently savory which is what korean barbecue should be now of course there is sweet marinades and stuff like that but those things work with meat in a way they don't work with a potato chip there's something about the texture and the taste of real meat that makes it kind of work with a sweet sauce. Like, you know, if you're doing marinating it in some kind of sweet teriyaki sauce or, you know, stuff like that, it works. Um, it does not work on a potato chip, but they keep trying to inject sweet things into potato chips and it's it's just never worked. 
Um, I've never found a potato chip with a sweet factor, <clears throat> with a sweet factor in it that I've honestly enjoyed. Um, I want a savory chip. I'm snacking. Um, I expect Korean barbecue. I expected it to taste kind of like, you know, like beef. Um, but no, it tastes like sweet shrimp or if you want to get more specific, uh, shrimp top ramen packet. So if you've ever had a shrimp top ramen packet, you know what you're getting into. If not, it's a little bit seafoody, which is weird and a little too sweet for my liking, but not, not so much that I hate them. I think I'll still finish this bag off because it's like the only chips I have right now. Um, even though I don't really enjoy them, they, they fill the hole of empty snacking, which is what I'm going to do, which is probably bad. I should just get rid of them, but I can still get through these, but this is definitely not a preference. They're a last resort thing, which is why I'll probably eat them because I have no other chips and I don't want to go out because I'm lazy. Um, that's why I'll probably eat these, but in any other situation where I really had a choice between two different chips or snack things, um, this would not be in there. So I'm going to give it a two out of five. Uh, I'm not sure how many people will actually like that. There are fans of Shrimp Top Ramen. Hey, if you're a fan of Shrimp Top Ramen, <laughs> this is the chip for you enjoy it while it's out because i'm sure it'll be gone before long because heb always cycles their chips out like every couple months so enjoy those if you're a shrimp fan if not i think korean barbecue is not exactly the correct flavor in my opinion and with that i will see you all next time